Hey Hewlett's, welcome back to my channel, 20VLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, just this hoe. <laughs> Coming up in this video, I'm going to do a clean with me. That's right, we're going to clean and get a uh, bag back into shape that I bought last year and just, I don't know, haven't bothered to do that, but I'm going to do it with you. Um, let's see, what's coming up? Fall. Fall is in the air. Actually, I'm so glad that fall is here. Uh, yes, sweaters. Okay, boots. Yeah, pants in general. I just have way more fall and winter clothing than I do summer and spring or spring and summer. I'm just not a big spring and summer gal, but, um, I just like the fact now Fall is officially here, and I can go to the door with my Christmas pajamas on. When the UPS guy comes over or the mower guy needs money, I can just go to the door and be like, Yeah, we're close. It's fall, biatch. <laughs> I'm wearing these. Yeah, because I do wear them all year, but I'm really ashamed about it. Until now! Yes, we're back, Bishas! bag of the day actually bag of this last week my little cerises my cherries more. yes look at her so that is the bag of the week it's about dang time mask of the weekend was this one and this one's very special because Maddie bell Maddie sent this to me of snow 77707 yeah She's my gal pal. We're friends for life now. Yeah. I feel like she's one of those girls you can, like, have on speed dial when some stuff goes down. And she's like, <coughs> say no more, I'll be right there. She's got your back. I feel like she's that. And I'm that for her, too. Although I'm a pretty big scaredy cat, so when things break out, I usually run. But I'd be there for you, Maddie girl. I sure would. <laughs> All right, let's get into the washing of this bag, honey. Washing the bag, washing the bag. This was folded when it was sent to me, so um, Epi bags you really shouldn't fold, but it is old, so um, it just has some, just needs some TLC. So the first thing that I like to do, I've got my saddle soap, this kind, um, if I use that, but I also have this kind, which I like to use um, after it's over with, I will condition, which does clean too, but it also, this is a really good conditioner and a cleaner, but I do clean with the soap. And I use a really, from the Dollar Tree, I use a really soft baby hair, uh, baby brush. So like, you know, a very soft toothbrush or this would work just so that it's not abrasive at all. But I'm just going to really go through and just lightly loosen any debris from the bag. Just with a light brushing. So I like to take that and wet it a little bit and then take this my saddle soap and scrub it around in there and see how it's making like a little lather that's what you want just like lathering it up and then now that'll make like a soapy so as i can really scrub i got a little too much there but <laughs> it'll even out and I'm going to dampen my cloth when I wipe this off to sort of make sure I get all of the soap scum or whatever off. But yeah, I just go in here really a lot and just scrub the heck out of it. And these bags, you know epi bags you can do that you have to sort of be careful on your um the shetta and other leathers but these are pretty the epis are pretty resilient but yeah i just go in here and do this i 
can wet my, just a little bit. You don't want it like drenched, but just wet. And then take this back and take off all your residue and all your soapiness with that little damp. I'll probably have to go over it again, but you want to just wipe that away. I got this bag stuffed. Yeah, just go in there and uh, where you scrubbed already with a damp cloth, just take that. And yeah, you can see it's dirty. It's dirty bird. And girl, normally I like dirty, but you know on my bag. Uh-uh, can't have it. So that's what I did on that part. And I'll go ahead and do the rest of the bag and then come right back with you. So for this other side, I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to use the Fibings or Feebings Glycerin, the liquid saddle soap. And I'm going to spray this on there and let's try it instead of the actual saddle soap in the tin. And see, it's the, pretty much the same result here. And always put down, like, this is a $3 Walmart <laughs> outdoor, like for your picnic table, vinyl tablecloth. So always put down something that you don't want to mess up because you're liable to spill a chemical on there. Uh, anything's liable to happen. <laughs> when you're cleaning these old bags. But yeah, just give it a good, good old scrub, honey. Or put your hand in there and go to work. That's what he said. Yes. <laughs> just get in there and work it. You can work with the grain, against the grain. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, get it all for sure. Okay, I'm going to go do the rest of the bag and then I'll come back. So I'm going to take the damp of this and get down in that pocket real good. Okay, so now um, you don't want to condition on top of this wet. So I am going to leave this just for a second and let it dry. I'm gonna clean these two. But yeah, I'm gonna let this dry real well so um, we can come back to it. Okay, so I realized I was getting out of the shot, so let me try it this way. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay. So anyway, I went ahead and I scrubbed some of the um, handles. So I just basically took my little scrubber. this part and I just went back in through here and I did just want to make sure I can get it I did the glycerin soap the um, liquid other people clean the little mama Have you ever watch her I watched a lot of her stuff I watched all of her stuff she's good but you know on these loose threads I just take a sharp tool like she said that's you know what she had taught us to do <laughs> and just shove this is like a tooth picker thing like you would use at the dentist <laughs> um, but yeah it works well I just keep working and working until that thread is back in the little hole that it came out of and that way 
you know, you don't have, I mean, you could cut that a little bit, I guess, but I mean, I don't want it to unravel all the way, so I'm just going to go back in there and shove it in there like needle hook. Just shove those back in as good as you can. It might take some time. Um, so now that the bag has dried, I'm going to go and I'm going to take a different cloth like this. There we go. And I'm going to, I'm just going to take this and like condition the whole thing. And that's where this comes in, the big four. Um, which I, I've used the Apple Care and I like it, but I like this a whole lot. I just take the big four and then I put it on here and then I just rub and rub and rub. And then I do that all over and condition the bag. And it gives it like a little sheen and conditions the leather real well. It looks good. Looks real good. Do your handles, your chats, chapes, chats, whatever. <laughs> Everybody calls them something different though, right? So anyway, do that all over the bag with your Big Four or your Apple conditioner, whatever you have. Um, use that. Our hardware is looking dull, and so I just use Barkeeper's Friend. I just take a Q-tip and get in here and do all these and then, um, you know, go back over it and wipe it off really well and shine it up. You can use Brasso. Um, there's a couple of different things that you can use, but I got this on Amazon like two for one. I paid for one and they gave me a free one at some thing, so um, that's why I use this. I think it's basically the same thing. But what I like to do is I like to get a little lid, like a, one of those Rubbermaid lids that you never use anymore, and put my product in that, and then take my Q-tips and then just go over with that, and then take my microfiber and wipe it back off. So I'm going to do that, and I'll speed all that up so you won't have to, you know, see it. I shined up this part of the bag as far as, can you guys see that? Yeah. As the hardware is concerned, like the handles and these rivets. So now all I got to do is go back and I did this rivet as well, but I'm going to go back through and kind of shine up the zipper rail. I'm not real great at this, so it takes time because if you don't, if you just slap it on there, and I've done this on my other green bag like this, it turns this all white and that is really hard. The, the cloth railing here, it's hard to get that back, so 
I think you need to go in and just very lightly do each tooth, but that takes forever, so I'll be back. <laughs> All right, so I got the whole zipper, the front and back, pretty good. As good as I can get it, because I'm not great at the zipper shine or the hardware, but I brought the hardware back to at least a brassy, <laughs> a brass color without all that dirt. So that's looking good. Now I'm going to try to go in and just touch up some pieces that are no longer green on the bag, which they should be green again, but they're not. And then I'll take some, um, I'm going to try to take some black edge coat and do that as well. And that will take some time, so I'll be back. I will be back. Okay, so um, if you'll see, I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but it's really come to like a yellow color on the edges. So I'm taking the green dye that I have and I'm just wetting a Q-tip and I'm just going to come through here. See how it soaks it up? Because that's down to the raw leather right there. And we can hit this with leather sealer at the end and like seal all this that we do. But if you can see that, it's definitely soaking it up and making this green again. And that's what we want, right? See if you just go around these rough edges. So that's what you want to do is take that all the way around and let's see here I'm still going off that one dip <laughs> of dye dye goes a long way honey yeah I just want to get it in there where this is greening up again So that's how I bring all the edges back. Look at that. Can you guys see that? How it, man, it just soaks it up, honey. That leather was like, I need the color back. Give it to me. That's what we did. We're going to give you your glory back, honey. You've seen some things. Everybody needs a nip and a tip and a suck and a tuck and what have you, right? So, all right, I'm just going to go around. See, here's a really big rub right here. I'm just trying to get in there. I don't think this is going to take it very well. Yeah. Yeah, I only fill up the places that are like yellow. Like on the corners, on these edges. I think that does a lot for the bag. Brings it right back, honey. TLC that's got some rubs. Especially if it's down to that yellow. It really comes back good. And there you go. I just took my um, edge coat, or in this situation, it's gloss acrylic, quick drying. Um, and I just am lightly going over can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. This to sort of bring back where those edges were all, um, they were all fading out, honey. It just needed some bring back. She just need to be brought back just a minute. Let's see the other side. 
And I also went in with just a little bit of green paint in here and just tried, because this was all down to black and brown. And I sort of try to feather it out just a little bit. But this side's worse, so let me try. Hopefully this will come up good. My hands are filled with the paint now. I have some little tiny brushes somewhere, but um, I don't know where. <laughs> so I'm just going in here. I like these little fine um, Q-tips or whatever because they really get in there good. And I like the fine point on them. That means I'm not, you know, slapping it all over and getting it everywhere as I normally do because, trust me, that's, that's me. But look how much better this looks. Just bringing that paint onto onto the edges. Oh, these handles, they're much better. It's taking that great. Okay, I'm gonna have to, um, ooh, I'm scared to do this because, okay. We need to get a little green right there. You guys see that? Can you guys see that? Yeah. But so much better. It looks a ton better than it did just doing the little tiny things that we did um, it brought the bag back. I mean, we got a lot more to do, clearly, but yeah, there we go. So thanks for, I'm going to go upstairs and do an outro, but yeah, we're going to let all this dry. And then, um, I've got some leather sheen also. Um, so anytime you hit the bag with as much as we did to it today, as far as, and you can see the sheen is gone from it. My mowing guys here, if you guys hear the mower. Um, but you can always go back over this, which I do every time on these Epis with a little bit of leather sheen and man, that really makes it gloss up and even the handles cause all the leather, you know, it is leather sheen, right? So anyway, I'm going to touch a few more of these and then go back upstairs and close out the video. So yeah. Okay. Thanks for joining me on the clean with me. I think she looks... 10 times better. I'll try to insert some before because I know my screenshots were off on that. I was trying to record on my table long ways and I was sitting this way. So I have no idea what the hell was going on. But thanks for trying to keep up with me today on that. But yeah, she looks much better. The handles have even come out a lot better. And uh, the edges no longer yellow. So... Yeah, I'll carry this bag. Why not? I'm probably going to sell this bag because <laughs> I don't use her. And I don't even think now that I've cleaned her up and made her presentable that I will. But, you know, there's always that 1% chance the possibility is there. I could grab for her. But anyway, there she is. Oh, I'm wearing green. The bag's green. <gasps> it's a win today. Yes, girl. Yes. Thank you for joining me for this. It was kind of long. Sorry about that. And coming up, oh, along about Thursday of this week, I am going to unbox three, one, two, three card holders that I bought. Um, and I am going to go ahead and blame a couple people on those. Lisa, mm -hmm, Autumn, mm -hmm, Side Eye, uh, Marty. Mm -hmm. All y'all get that side eye for me, girl. No, not really. I love you guys. Um, and listen, I really need y'all to follow through with this one. If you all see my husband, don't dare tell him nothing. Bye. Y'all see Yoda had some new friends? <laughs> she sure did. They look nice. I don't know. I'd hang out with them. Why not? I mean... They look hungry is all. Seriously. Um, eat a french fry. What are they in? Scully and Mulder? Yeah. These two.
I'm pretty sure they had skin when they showed up at her house. She took it and made bags out of them. I'm sure. They're skin. Listen, y'all should have cut and ran when she said, it puts the lotion on its skin. Yeah, or it gets the hose again. These two. Yeah. They're now a beautiful bag. We will see an unboxing pretty soon, I'm sure. <laughs> Yoda, what are you doing over there, girl? <laughs> she did say she's got a basement. What? Girl, you can lock me up in your basement anytime. You know that. We got like that. I mean, girl. Sure, we all want to get boned, but that's taking it just a little too far. 